Hello there friends and welcome back for another mod review. Today I have a very interesting mod pack indeed to review for you guys. This is called the Sugarcane Mod Pack by BDB SSB Mods. It's a six piece pack that includes three sugarcane harvesters, two cedars, and one sugarcane header. Now the header is good for all of the sugarcane harvesters and the file size for this is 66.37 megabytes. So what we're going to do guys is I'm going to discuss a few things regarding this mod. We'll go over the shop and check out some of the specs. Then I will test them out, take them out on the field and show you just how great they work. So let's get started. Okay, so we'll start over here with the Homer Exact Harvester. This is the Homer Exact Sugar Cane Harvester. It also works with sugar beets and potatoes. The price in the shop is $100,000 with a $30 a day maintenance fee. The power is 460 kilowatts and 626 horsepower has a max speed of 50 kilometers an hour. It is multicolor. I think it looks great in orange there. Goes really good with this new map. And the capacity is a whopping 100,000 liters. So very, very cool. I really like that. So we will take a look around at this. It will work with the sugar beets and the potatoes. You'll just have to get the appropriate header for it. But just the fact that this holds 100,000 liters is fantastic. Okay. So let's jump on inside. A couple of things I do have to mention that these will not work with any added fruit types besides what's in the vanilla version and the added sugar cane. There is no effects on the pipe. See that other harvest there? there? Uh, not to jump the gun there, but when you're unloading, you will not get an animation of it coming out of the pipe. But besides that, everything works great. So let's start this up. Check out the lights and stuff. Lights work just fine. Three different settings there. Try our signal lights. I don't know if there is any signal lights on this. Probably not. It's kind of hard to see them in the back there. Yes, they do. I can see them right there in the back. Yep. Okay, we'll try out the beacons. Work just fine. The horn. Okay, we'll look inside the cab. Exactly like the Homer exact, just all done up in orange. So yeah, it looks fantastic. All right, next up we'll take a look at the header here. Like I said, this Homer header will work with both these harvesters. Now there is a third harvester. It's the exact same as that Crone. It's just the only difference is that Crone there has a holding tank on it, but the other one doesn't. But uh, you can hook, it has a hitch on the back, so you can bring a, an, an auger along with you or a uh, sugarcane tipper. So this is the Homer header for the sugarcane harvester and the crone harvester. The price in the shop is 78000 with an $80 a day maintenance fee. Has a work width of 4 meters, a work speed of 30 kilometers an hour. It is multicolor and it works on all these harvesters. Okay, so we'll take a look at the two seeders here. I'm just going in the order I have everything written down in my notes here. This is the Vatterstead Rapid Cedar. It works with the regular vanilla fruit types, like I said, and sugar cane. Price in the shop is $10,000 with a $10 a day maintenance fee. The required power to pull this is 132 kilowatts and 180 horsepower. The capacity is 3,100 liters. Work width of 6 meters and a work speed of 20 kilometers an hour. This works with seed only, it will not fertilize, and like I said, it's multicolor as well. So we'll take a little look around at that. This looks great in orange too. I just picked everything in orange because I think it just looks great with this map. And I'm pretty impressed of how uh, awesome it does look in the orange too. Okay, so that was the Vatterstead Rapid Cedar. That's good for planting sugar cane, but you will have to fertilize. Okay, next up. We have the Amazon Condor regular and sugarcane cedar. So basically it does all the same fruit types that are in the vanilla version and sh sugarcane as well. The price for this in the shop is $15,000 with a $30 a day maintenance fee. The required power to pull this is 147 kilowatts and 200 horsepower. Has a work width of 15 meters, a work speed of 35 kilometers an hour. It is multicolor as well, and it seeds and fertilizes. This takes dry fertilizer. By the way, when you're when you're filling this up with seed, you just use regular seed. You don't have to use that uh, sugar cane seed. You just put your regular seed in there, and it'll seed sugar cane. 
The capacity for this is 35,000 liters. That is 15,000 liters of fertilizer and 20,000 liters of seed. Okay, next up we will look at the Crone Harvester here. This is the Crone Big X Sugarcane Harvester. One has a holding tank, one does not. The price in the shop for both of these are $275,000 with a $980 a day maintenance fee. The power is 427 kilowatts and 580 horsepower. The capacity for this is also 100,000 liters. Has a max speed of 40 kilometers an hour. It is multicolored. It has a hitch on the back as well. Yeah, it's pretty great that this has a holding tank on it as well. That's fantastic. But you don't need to haul a trailer with you. You can use the holding tank. Or, if you prefer, you can take a uh, sugar cane uh, tipper with you. So, we'll go inside and check a few things out. Start it up. I'm just going to lower that header there just to get it out of the way. Okay, and we're going to switch back to the harvester. We'll try out the lights first. One, two, three settings for the lights. Try out the signal lights, hazards. There we go. Beacons just work great. Oh, there's three beacons on there. That's pretty cool. And we'll try out the horn, of course. Okay, let's take a look inside the cab here. Very nice. The exact same as the Crone. Okay, we'll take a quick shot over to the shop to take a look where these are located. It has its own little category right there. Sugarcane, just click on that and everything will be right here. So it's showing you that it works with the regular two regular fruit types and the uh, sugarcane as well. There's all the stats I just told you. And like I said, it's multicolored. That is really cool. There is the Homer Exact header that works for both combines. Vatterstead Cedar, the Amazon Cedar. Yeah, this one here is the uh, the one with the holding tank. This one does not have a holding tank, but uh, you can uh, take a tipper along with you. So, okay, guys. So now that you know where they're located over at the shop, we will go and test these out on the field. Okay, we'll start over here with the Vatterstead. Start up the tractor here. We'll scoop that up. So remember what I said, this one only seeds, doesn't have fertilizer in there, you can see inside it's all just regular seed. Close that back up. Let me bring up my HUD here and I'll show you the different seed types down in the bottom right hand corner. So you've seen uh, wheat there, barley, canola, uh, soybean, that is oilseed radish, grass, sunflower, corn, potatoes, sugar beets and there's your sugar cane right there okay so let's get this guy unfolded clear my HUD here again straighten them out a bit lower them down with the B key and start it up with the B key okay we're off seed and sugar cane how awesome is that and of course, you can hire a worker. No problem at all. Okay, next, we'll test out the Amazon Condor here. Hook it on up, we'll unfold it. And this will get your seating done quick, especially with a 15 liter work with. Straighten them up here a little bit, lower them down, bring up my O button so you can see the different fruit types. There is your wheat, barley, canola, soybean, oilseed radish grass, sunflowers, corn, potatoes, sugar beets, and sugar cane. And that's what we're going to be planting. Hit the N key to show you what's inside here, just some regular seed and dry fertilizer. B key to start it up and we're off look at that that is awesome yeah those sugar sugar cane planters that came with the DLC are great but I mean look at the work with on this oh boy am I adding this to my farm I'll tell you excellent hire worker just fine looks pretty good there with the steer too I must say Next up, 
Okay, let's jump in our homer here and stir them on up. Run up here and grab our header. Unfold. Unfold our header as well. Lower it down. And we'll start this guy up. This guy can move. That header allows you to go pretty fast at 30 kilometers an hour. Look at that. So yeah, there is no animation for the sugarcane itself, but it works great. Maybe that's something you can fix down the line. So I hired a worker. Let's see how she does turning around and starting with the next row. So once again, this holds 100,000 liters. And I think it looks quite good in orange. The orange rims. Okay, let's see. All lined up. Beautiful. So it definitely wouldn't take you long to uh, get the field done with this. It's only a 4 meter work width on that header, but I mean, doing it at 30 kilometers an hour, it definitely won't take you long. Okay, we'll stop you right there. And we'll move on to the next one. Okay, we'll try unloading this first. Because there is an animation for the uh, sugar cane coming out, which is great. Look at that. So that works. Beautifully, too. Awesome. Really, really cool. Okay, we'll pull this guy to the side and we'll continue on. Okay, next up, we'll try out our Big X Sugarcane Harvester. The crone, of course. Look at how it even says it at the bottom. That's awesome. Start it on up. We'll go up and grab our header. We'll unfold them. Now, you will have to put the pipe out for that. Even though this one has a holding tank, you still have to put the pipe out or it won't let you start it up. So let's jump back to our harvester. We'll press the O button. Lower our header down, start it up. And we are off. Look at that. Beauty. Look at this tank filling up. Yeah, it's funny because usually these crone uh, chaff harvesters don't have their own tank. You usually gotta follow them and empty them as they go along. So I'm going to hire a worker here. Pipe will go back down, but you will have to put it up to start this up. Put it out, I mean. You can turn around for us. Good, good. That looks pretty decent in orange, too. So it's whatever you prefer. But this one, you can also put a trailer on the back as well. But... Seeing that it holds 100,000 liters, there's not really any need. This guy's going to get it done pretty easily. But it's whatever you prefer. So, that's working just great. We'll move on to the last one. Okay, this is the exact same one as the one I was just testing. It's just that it's done up in green now. And this one does not have a holding tank. But we'll test it out with the tipper as well. Start them up. And give this a go. Oh wow, it actually is working. I thought he said that wasn't working. Hey, great. It's even better. Perfect. Yeah, I thought he said there on the uh, on his website that he didn't have that going. Maybe it was for the other one. But look at that. That's fantastic, man. All right. Well, that's even better, guys. What a great mod pack. Fantastic. This is definitely going to come in handy for, for your sugar, sugar cane harvesting, that's for sure. Okay, it's actually the one that has a holding tank that there is no animation for the unloading. And I'll show you that right now. You can see the tipper filling up. See it going in there? But there is no animation for that. But it's funny it's on the other one and not this one. But hey, it works. And you can see my uh, tank filling up in the bottom right-hand corner there as well. So just great. Yeah, I figured I'd show you that before we pushed on. That was the Sugarcane Mod Pack by BDB SSB Mods. Additional information and links can be found down below in the description. Guys, I really hope you enjoyed today's review. 
If you did, maybe you can leave a like on your way out. And if you're new to the channel, guys, why don't you go ahead and click on Nick right there in the middle of your screen, and I'll bring you new mod reviews every second day and Let's Plays every other day. Plus, my Patreon link is just below that. If you'd like to help and contribute to a smaller channel, it would really, really help out, guys. So, until next time, take care, and I will see you all in the next one.